Budget constraint You have just emerged from medical school with a debt service burden of $25,000 per year, and have set up practice. You have to decide how hard to work. For each hour of work, you expect to earn $50 after subtracting expenses of maintaining your office, taxes, etc. Your utility function for a full year is Enter image description here. Where H is the number of hours you work during the year and I is what is left of your annual income after expenses, taxes and debt service burden. A. What is your budget constraint linking I and H? B. Find your optimal number of hours of work. I got the budget constraint as I equals 50H 25,000. After forming the Lagrangian, I'm getting I equals 75,000 and H equals 2,000. But for the second order derivatives, I'm getting the second order derivative with respect to I is 0 and that of H is 2I. Thus, the second order derivatives are positive which should be negative for a maximum. Also, the function is neither concave nor convex using the Hessian principle minus method. I think there is no solution because the budget line is upward sloping and will intersect the indifference curve which leaves room for improvement. This is because you are dealing with constrained optimization here so the standard second order conditions for multivariate function won't apply. For example consider dollar dollar f equals 8x squared 2y dollar dollar subject to constraint that dollar dollar x squared plus y squared equals 1 dollar dollar here again the second order derivatives are positive respectively non-negative since one of the is zero but even though the function itself is convex because we are dealing with constrained optimization given the constraint we will still have maxima to be more specific for the above example the maxima would be the two points that intersect the constraint given by the unit circle. See the picture below that I took from Paul's notes here, example from Paul's notes. So assuming you did all other math correct in such case you should check the tangent, intersection points of your function and constraint and that's where you will find your maxima.